I guess this video is just really to say thank you. 300,000 subs. Oh my God. What is going on? Uh, yeah, is this is amazing. Thanks so much for all your support uh, to everybody who's, who's a sub and who watches um, the adventures that I have and the stuff I do on this channel. Um, makes me feel all special. Uh, but what's even cooler is it's gotten to a point where it's it's actually really starting to help me be able to live the life that I, I really want to live. Um, it's starting to be able to cover uh, a lot of the expenses that I have from just doing the things that I really want to do, which uh, is such a gift. So, so thank you for your support. What is coming up? So I'm, I am about like one less than a week and I'm done my quarantine. So I get to think about what do I want to do? I don't know. Uh, probably a lot of the people who are on this channel uh, follow lots of arm wrestling. There was a video put out over the last week, which has just got my head spinning. Like it's so cool. Uh, as you guys know, I'm a, I'm a strength nut. I'm an arm wrestling absolute nut. And the Georgian arm wrestling team put out a video. And it's so cool. Like, you got Levon, who's the best guy in the world right now. Okay, if you guys don't know who Levon Sagnashvili is, uh, look him up. Uh, he's... He's basically the king, the king of arm wrestling at the moment. And you got a guy, Gennady Kvikvinia, who is not far off and who has beat Levon a lot in the past. And he's kind of been hidden away due to some contract issues between WAF and, and uh, PAL. Uh, and the entire Georgian team is just so stacked. And they got this young, light guy, Irakli. I'm probably saying his name wrong. But uh, the guy's like 165. And he's like, he'll probably beat like 95% of the super heavyweights out there. Maybe more. He's ridiculous. Anyways, uh, and, and the whole the whole gym is just filled with these monsters. Monsters. Was it Tbilisi, 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 Georgia? I think that that's where they practice. Anyway, so I spent the last few days just talking to embassy. You can't go to Georgia. Can't. I don't know. It looks like you can't go to Georgia. I'd like to go to Moscow. I'd like to train and, um, you know, just get to work out. The thing is, right now, I mean, all the leagues are kind of screwed. Like, there is no high-level, really, competition that's organized and structured where it actually means anything. So, that's fine. Um, it actually is an opportunity to really just do the stuff that you love to do. Um, uh, a lot of grassroots stuff. Just get out and enjoy the sport. Um, and I'm in a unique position, kind of, to do that a lot again. Thanks to you guys. Uh, so, uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to go to those places just based off of the current situations. USA is always the easy button. Uh, border there isn't hard for a Canadian to get across and go and work. So, keep you posted, but... It's going to be all corn-powered operations gonna be a whole lot of a lot of cracking going on over the next bit thank you